Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. It's a great Saturday for football, and what a matchup we have here with the Warhawks and Army. Army, of course, has won back-to-back -back national championships, and they are undefeated to start this season. The Warhawks will look to end that today. They were able to defeat Army early last season in a 37-34 game. We're still trying to figure out who this Kalispell team is this year as they have experienced some regression, but I think we're going to find out exactly who they are with this matchup and the game against Texas next week. Here we go! Army and Kalispell underway, and the Warhawks will start with the football. Here is Dehante Jeffries. Cutting across the field, and he's brought down shy of the 20. Out comes the Kalispell offense. They average 39.8 points per game. That's good for seventh place in college football. And they're going to start the day here. We have seen this a couple times, but they will open the day. Wildcat package, and Matthew McNair is the quarterback. He'll keep this one, and he's got daylight here on the very first play. McNair across midfield with one man to beat, and there he goes! The day will start with an 83-yard Matthew McNair touchdown! Well, that didn't take very long at all. The playmaking ability of Matthew McNair has caught everybody's attention this year. He began getting more carries last week. What's gonna happen going forward for the true freshman? 7-0 Kalispell, 15 seconds into the ball game, and Army takes over. Of course, triple option, haven't seen this offense this year, no idea what to expect, especially after so much change defensively, but that's a good start. Gray goes down, Sean McNeil on the hit. Army returns a lot of their key playmakers from a year ago. Patrick Gray spins and fires for Tolbert, but it's incomplete. And the Warhawks start strong on both sides of the football. That's how you want to open on the road. They'll take over. Toss outside. Blockers lead the way. McNair's got the edge again and is stopped after getting first down yardage. Now it's only a gain of 13. Jim Jackson now in the game for Kalispell, but are we seeing McNair become the new starter? Irvin's got time, and he's going to take a shot here in single coverage. Chambers almost had the touchdown. They're going for the big plays early. Now third down, Vincent Slot left. Here's Irvin, plenty of time, and wide open. Cut by Phoenix Chambers. He picks up 16 and a new set of downs. Two receivers left, one right, and carrying here, Jim Jackson is met quickly, but does fall ahead, picking up four. Jackson getting plenty of looks on this drive so far. He'll carry again now, running left. He's met and picks up another solid gain of four. Third and short here on the edge of field goal range. Two tight ends on the field, and this is Jackson with a good cut. He finds the opening, and now he's got a gain of 12. How about this start on the ground for Kalispell? McNair checks into the game. Irvin's got time and going up for it inside the 10. That is Craig Booth who had a monster performance a week ago. Goal to go Kalispell, third down. Irvin's got time and the touchdown to Phoenix Chambers. That was a nice throw through a tight window, and Chambers has his third receiving touchdown this season. It's a 14-0 start, and we're barely started here. We struggled last week against North Carolina. This is the best start to a game we've had all season, and Gray is hit again behind the line, and Army gets nothing. You always wonder how the defense will show up here against an option team. Second down, Gray. Intercepted now! It's Townsend! Threw it right to him, and Kalispell is right back in business. Kalispell has not looked this good in a very long time. It's already 14-0. What's next for this Kalispell offense? They go with two receivers to the right side, and they're going back to McNair, who cuts and the... Opening close very quickly. Perfect on third down so far. Here comes Derek Jackson. Pressure on Irvin. He'll dump this off. Going to be tough to get there. And Jackson is stopped. But inside field goal range at least. 
It is now 17-0 in the first quarter. How does Army respond? Of course, they can't give up on their offense, but it's just not working today. Gray maybe gets one. It's third down. Can Kalispell get yet another stop? They'll bring pressure. And here goes Gray. Has the first down. Breaks a tackle. And that is a 16-yard pickup. Best play, obviously, for Army. Both teams, by the way, come in averaging 39.8 points per game. Gray breaks another tackle. Blockers get set up, and he's inside the 30. Last time it was 16 yards, now 25. Army finally moving the football. They're inside the Warhawk 30 now. Gray to the left side. Has some daylight. Flips this out. Donnie Gilbert inside the 20. Makes his way to the 5 and is taken down by Red. A few yards shy of the end zone. Finally, big place for Army. First and goal. Misdirection. Handoff. Thomas to the end zone. Touchdown, Army. They needed that drive. Badly. They're on the board now. But it's their defense that now has to show they can handle what Kalispell's done offensively. Army averages allowing 14.6 points per game. Kalispell has already surpassed that. But we'll see if they're able to maintain this momentum. Crowd getting behind Army now. It's third and eight. Pressure picked up. Irvin escapes the pocket. Fires downfield and is intercepted. Army takes over and they'll be inside the 25. Irvin wanted to make a play here. That's McNair going upfield and he doesn't get enough air under the throw. Big mistake. Now Army, who's only down 10... Has a chance to make this a one-score game. Gray with great blocking to the 10 and not done there. He makes his way to about the seven-yard line. That's now 57 rushing yards for Patrick Gray. Second and goal. Again, left side and Gray's hit quickly. This time for no gain. We're always counting on the linebackers to make big plays here against the option teams. And on third down, Gray throws through the back of the end zone. And that will end this drive. But great response by Army to fall down at 17-0. And now be in a one-score game. Kalispell football again to the outside. There's McNair with a spin across the 50. There he goes again. One play. That's all it takes. 75-yard touchdown for McNair. On his touchdown runs alone, he has over 150 yards. I think we're seeing something very special here with Kalispell this season, something we really haven't seen before. As a true freshman, McNair is transforming this offense before our eyes. It's 24-10. Army. They've done a great job offensively these last couple drives, but can they keep it up as Kalispell increases the lead again? Third down. Gilbert the motion man. Gray wants a screen. Schwend makes the catch and he breaks a tackle. Red is there to stop him after a 15-yard catch that moves the sticks. Gray has thrown the football pretty well this year. Nine touchdowns. Now Pollard gets the carry, and he'll muscle ahead for a strong pickup of eight. That's Wesley Pollard, the freshman, who stands at 6'8", 270. They're lining him up at fullback, and he's got it again. Breaking a tackle, and now in the open field. Here goes Pollard, still not down. 40 yards to the freshman. Goal to go, Army. Stacking the box here on first and goal. Gray runs through a defender, flips it back, and Gilbert scores. Touchdown. A whole lot of scoring here in the first half. 24-17. Both offenses are clicking now. Kalispell has two one-play touchdown drives. They'll continue getting it to McNair, but Army's ready this time. He only gets two. Two receivers to the right side. Chambers the motion man on second down. A lot of time and down the middle. Oh, Chambers is crushed. And he did not hang on. Third down for the Warhawks. McNair in the backfield. Irvin's got time. Across the middle, he's intercepted again. Jordan now has it. It'll be another short field for Army and there is a late flag. Looks like it was on the return. So it'll impact the field position. But that is now a second takeaway for Army. 
They're one touchdown away from tying this game, but lose three here on first down. Good play. Again, Williams to the box, and Gray is hit quickly and stopped for another loss. We haven't really seen the punters get involved today. Kalispell trying to change that. Gray floats downfield, and Robinson's there! First down! 29 yards, Army continues driving. Just shy of the 20 now. Gray to the left, here's Gilbert again. Bounces off Jeffries, and he picks up nine. Another new set of downs here in the red zone. On first and 10, here is Gray to the right side. Touchdown, and this game is tied. All the way back from 17-0. It took care of that in the first half. These are the back-to-back -back champs. They are the number one team, and we're seeing why. Kalispell football, a brand new game essentially, and Jordan knocks this one down. He had the interception last drive. On third down, setting up the screen. Here's McNair, and he doesn't have much space. He's taken down, and Army will force a rare punt today. I can't believe they're now in a position to potentially take the lead. Two minutes until half. Gray has room. Redirects, following blockers, and he picks up another 10 yards. 76 yards for Patrick Gray. Running option here again. Gray's got this all to himself now in the secondary. Inside the 30 and chased down after crossing the 25-yard line. Army over 220 yards rushing as a team. Do I even have to tell you they're the best rushing team in football? Swing pass. Schwen taken down. Well played. And Kalispell will use a timeout. Hoping to get off the field here on third and seven. Gray looks to take off again, has some daylight, and is tripped up a couple yards shy. Fourth down. A field goal gives Army their first lead of the day. There's still some time here for Kalispell as Irvin throws on the move and Edwards has space. Great run after the catch ability and he picks up 15 yards. Kalispell still has one timeout remaining. Fake here, Irvin pressures there, and he's going down. A big hit in the backfield and a loss of 11. Long way to go now after that. Third and 17, Irvin feels the pressure again and throws incomplete. Army will get 20 seconds here and a couple timeouts. So Dominique Day, can he get some distance behind this? This will be fielded inside the 30. Robinson picks up blocks and a good return of 17. Leaves Army with 11 seconds. They might go for a big throw down the field here. Gray back to pass. Feels pressure. He's thrown down. And Army will use their second timeout. But now just 7 seconds to go. Again to the air. Gray steps up. He's sacked again by Trey Walker. And that'll end the half. And what a half that was. Army all the way back from 17-0, and they carry a lead into half. What began as a statement-making blowout quickly turned into the best game of the season so far. Kalispell down three now as we get into the second half, and Army's got possession. Now they look to build up this lead. Gray stumbled. He'll air it out here to start the half, and Tolbert's there to make the catch in Kalispell territory. It's a 43-yard reception, and they got that against Elliott Red. That is not a play he'll give up very often whatsoever. One more look at it. Good throw, too. Sometimes those underthrown deep balls are for the best. First and 10, Schwend inside. A lot of space, and he's tripped up by Applewhite after 10. Single high look again. Gray play action now. Dumps off. Here's Hall. He's got the first down. Army can go to so many different plays. Just when you think you have it all figured out, they throw something new at you. Inside. Schwen through defenders to the end zone. Army's up two scores now. This offense is just so good. And the pressure now is on this Kalispell offense that's been really reliant on the big play. They've had two one-play touchdown drives, 
And they're going to try to get another one here. McNair on the edge. Across the 40. He picks up 33 more. He is chasing Austin Jenkins' record of 304. Quick throw on first down. That's Booth on the catch. 17 yards. Jim Jackson now in the game on first down. Against the pressure, a quick throw. Cut by Sherrod Edwards. Not an easy catch. Gain of eight. New set of downs. Toss left. Here's McNair with a lane. Taken down after six yards. He's now at 215. The record is within reach. Second down for Irvin. Pretty good coverage. And he's going down. Tried to scramble, but the pocket collapsed around him. That sets up third down. Motion man is Jensen. Rolling right. On the move, there's Vincent. Right near the sticks, he stopped it. I think he's short, and now he's shaken up. Kalispell's going to go forward. It's fourth and one. Down by ten. They'll play aggressively. Jackson picks it up. First down, Kalispell. A gain of six. McNair in the Wildcat on first and goal. He's going to keep it now. Running left and he's stopped in the backfield. they loss lost a three. McNair still in the game, but Irvin back at quarterback. On second down to the end zone. Touchdown, Kalispell. It's Ty Navarro. Excellent possession, and now it's a 34-31 game. Can Kalispell keep it just the one-score ball game? Three and change to go in the third quarter. Gilbert misdirection, hit once and brought down. Loss of one. On second and 11. Gray hit in the backfield and stopped again. And we're seeing Kalispell rotate in some new defensive linemen. Of course, fatigue plays a factor. Third and 13 now. Gray almost picked off. That's Trey Walker, the most productive pass rusher in Kalispell history. And he nearly got that interception. So close. Big stop for the Kalispell defense. Down three. Here's a throw. McNair, first down. Breaks a tackle. And he is hit hard after getting seven. McNair getting plenty of snaps today. Here's another one on the screen pass. Another first down. And he picks up four. Jackson back in the game now. Kalispell goes four wide. And here's Clemens now. He's got some space. Picks up the first down and breaks a tackle. 20 yards for Travis Clemens. New set of downs to open this fourth quarter. Kalispell driving. Well protected. Here's time for Irvin. Deep shot Chambers inside the five. Goal to go Kalispell. Just a yard away from taking the lead. They'll run it. Inside, Jackson to the end zone. Touchdown, Kalispell. They've erased the two-score deficit and find themselves up four in the fourth quarter. What a game. An instant classic here in the Kalispell dynasty, and we're not finished. Gilbert's going to lose three to start this drive. Great play by Jeffries. Thomas the motion man. Gray back to pass. Floats it outside. Gilbert nowhere to go. He'll lose three more. And it's third and long. Army needs 16 now. Kalispell only sends three. And Thomas is wide open. That's a first down. With eight in coverage, they still got an easy throw right across the middle. New set of downs. Gray right side. And he'll take it across midfield. Gain of eight. Seven and change to go in this one. Gray, left side with room, and he's got a lead blocker as well. In the secondary, he picks up 28 more. Gray with 153 rushing today. Back in the red zone. Gray gives to Pollard, and he's down to the 10, getting seven. Third down, Army. Elliott Red down to the box. Gilbert runs inside, and he's stuffed quickly. Only a gain of one. Fourth down. Down by four. Army is going to go for it. They've got to get three yards. Option to the right side. Flip to Thomas. He did not get it. Kalispell gets the stop. Let's go, defense. A yard away from converting. 
And the Warhawks come through, preserving their four-point lead. In the backfield is McNair. He gets this one, angling outside with running room. Another first down. 18 more yards. Kalispell wants to put the game away on this drive. Jackson inside, breaks first contact and gains three. Three of nine on third down. They failed their last six tries. Jackson very close on this one. He does get it. New set of downs, more clock coming off. Toss outside McNair, chased, and he can't go anywhere. That's a loss of four. Army trying to take the run game out of our options. Here's second down, rolling outside. Irvin's got some room and finds the open man. It's Edwards. He's got the first down and gets 29 yards. He was wide open cutting across the field. Warhawks on the edge of field goal range as they go to McNair again. He's got the first down and is inside the 25. Not many chances left for Army. Back in the game is Jackson. Room on the left side and he's hit down after five yards. A first down here and this game is over. Deep in the backfield, McNair. And he's met in the backfield. Army will get the stop. Wow, the fullback, Craig Davis, just missed. And Army will have a shot now to at least tie this game. Kalispell added three. And now down seven. Army, less than two minutes to go. Got to get this done in the air. And Gray is hit from behind. Trey Walker. That's only a gain of one. It wasn't a sack. Now third down. Pressure on the way. Here's a deep ball with a wide open man. It's Tobert on the dive. Thankfully, he wasn't hit in stride. Big coverage breakdown. Now Army at the Kalispell 40. And they have plenty of time now. Gray back to the air, has time in the pocket, takes a shot, and Carter almost ended the game! Right through his hands. Army's got more chances here. Two deep safeties now on third down, only three on the rush. Gray for Schwend, hit down quickly. Fourth down, game on the line. Does Army's undefeated season end here? Here it is, three on the rush. Gray throws across the middle. Webster makes the catch. 25 yards, Army is not done. They are now 13 yards away with 38 seconds left. Gray throws to the end zone. Caught by Blanchard, this game is tied. Are you serious right now? Army gets the drive they needed once again. We've seen multiple impressive comebacks in this game. And we're now looking at potential overtime. Kalispell does have 30 seconds. Jim Jackson here makes a move outside and Kalispell burns a timeout. They still have two. Down to 26 seconds now, McNair checks in. On the outside, caught by Chambers, spun around at the 40, but a first down. Still 21 seconds here, Army showing pressure. Here they come, Irvin across the middle. Robert Jordan knocks that away. Intended for Matthew McNair. Josiah Jensen, the motion man on second down. Outside the pocket, Irvin throws, complete to Jackson. Wide open to the 40 and out of bounds. Kalispell's on the edge of field goal range and they have 10 seconds to get closer. Four wide, pressure sent. Irvin up the middle and tripped up. A couple yards on the pickup. And Kalispell has to use the timeout now. Three seconds left. And they'll go for the win. 55-yard try for Brandon Hammond. This kick is good! Kalispell wins! What a game! 44-41! And down go the back-to-back -back national champions! One of the best games we have seen in a long time. Kalispell wins a classic, and Matthew McNair gets the MVP award for the day. After giving us two of our most explosive touchdowns on the season, and boy did we need those. As Army's offense, after struggling in the first quarter, the first half of it anyway, 
They turned it on and they looked unstoppable for much of the day. These are two of the best teams in college football. And this game was everything you would hope for when two top teams meet. That was just a phenomenal football game. We could have done some things better. Obviously, the first half interceptions that gave them really short fields weren't very good. Got pretty greedy on that throw to McNair, especially. I think on Madden, I could have made that throw work, but not here on NCAA. Also, on their last drive, that deep ball that could have tied the game, I wanted to bring pressure, and I hit the show blitz, and I saw it move the safety that was supposed to be covering over there, and I did not want that and did not have time to change it. We got so lucky that wasn't caught in stride. They still ended up scoring anyway, which if they were going to score there, perhaps it is better to score quickly than slowly. But we get the win. It was not an easy game, but you gotta win some games like this if you wanna go back to the mountaintop. Kalispell is now 5-1, and one, and we have a new game changer on offense in Matthew McNair. He's averaging 10 yards an attempt. He ran for more yardage today than he did in the first five games combined. And now is just a little bit behind Jim Jackson for season rushing yards. So if I had to ask you right now, who's going to lead this team in rushing? Who would it be? I think it's going to be McNair. He's going to continue to get carries. If you looked at just the difference when he gets the ball versus Jim Jackson, especially today, Jackson's solid. He'll get you the four yards. He'll get first downs. He'll take advantage of what space is there. But McNair does things a little differently. And I think we're going to need his big playability if we're to defeat Texas for the first time. They have beaten us pretty soundly the first two times we've met. And this third meeting is going to be in Austin. So it's not going to be easy for us. Do we have what it takes now? I'm not sure this team is as good as any of the championship teams from this series. But I think we do have something a little bit different. And I think that's Matthew McNair. I think he can be that much of a difference maker. He was today. What'll it be next week? Texas has one of the best offenses in college football. I expect they'll put up a lot of points. And we have to find a way to match them. And I think the big plays of McNair are what we need. So we shall see if we can come away with another big win. This is a tough part of the schedule to face Army and then Texas. Can we defeat both of them? Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave your feedback below. Can't wait to see what you guys thought of this episode. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.